patient education is a uh, extremely important part of self-management of patients. And in the upper airways, we have not uh, explored that enough, I think, at the moment. Uh, the lower airways have done more. In the upper, upper airways, we haven't done enough. If we are able to educate our patients better, um, they will understand their medical condition better, they uh, will understand the methods the doctors use, and uh, we will be able to have um, better outcomes. Within Euphoria, we felt we really needed to know what our patients didn't know. So we started a program, and I will show you the, the first preliminary data of that program in asking our patients what they needed to know. Uh, first, we asked uh, a number of uh, key opinion leaders to make a list of all the questions that they heard in their daily practice. And that was a long list of a few hundred questions. Uh, and we uh, categorized them in different areas of the disease. Then we had uh, interviews with a small group of patients individually and in groups about their information needs. And based on that, we started a large web-based interview. And we have now done uh, one country, but in the coming year, we will do a number of countries also to evaluate whether these, different, uh, these needs are different in different countries. And we can expect them to be different. But I will show you the first ones that we have. And that will be the base to develop um, a website and an app with validated patient information. Here are the data of these first 100 patients. And first, we asked the patients how long it uh, took to uh, before they actually uh, uh, knew that they had their disease. And you see that there is a big discrepancy, but that most patients had between uh, around a year to five years before they actually went to a doctor with their disease. So the first five years of their disease are very often already lost because they don't even see a doctor. And then it takes uh, usually quite short, about a year before these patients, the, these were all patients in secondary and tertiary care, were referred to uh, usually an ENT surgeon. Um, then we asked the uh, patient at what time during their um, disease journey they actually needed inform more information. You can see that that is very diverse from the, uh, the start of their disease to, for example, the moment that the ENT surgeon uh, suggested surgery, which you can imagine is an important moment. Then we asked them where they tried to find their information. And I uh, spend a lot of time on internet myself to actually find proper information. And especially in the upper airways, it is really devastating. Uh, three quarters of the information you read is absolutely wrong, is not following guidelines, and uh, puts the patient to uh, totally on the wrong leg. Here you see that from these chronic rhinosinusitis patients, half the patients actually try to find better information themselves on the internet. Um, and here you see that most of the patients felt that the information, were just like me, felt that the information was insufficient, they weren't happy with it, and a, a small group was very unhappy with it. Here we asked them where they uh, tried to find information, for example, internet, patient uh, uh, organizations, and you see most pa patients try to find it by Google, and a, a much smaller group trying to find it via uh, patient organizations or scientific organizations. So they can't find the way we would like them to find. Um, then we asked them how they would like to be informed. And most patients either like a website or an app. And as, uh, this um, here it indicates patients who would like to speak to a coach, a, a upper airway coach that can actually, for example, a nurse that can help them with their disease. So this is the list of all these questions. And uh, I, I, I'll give you a few seconds to read them. But they are quite obvious. Um, 
symptoms, why do my symptoms recur? Uh, a lot of questions about chronicity, a lot of questions about uh, uh, the, the best treatment and uh, how to get rid of the disease. We started now in Euphoria to answer these questions and at the moment if you go to the website you can find already uh, a large number of interviews with key opinion leaders answering all these different questions and in the coming uh, time we will do two things. One, this questionnaire will be um, done in a, in a number of countries to see what the different needs are in different countries and we will start exploring all these questions and in different ways um, uh, put them on the website and the app to help patients to be better informed and empowered in, uh, in their disease. Thank you very much.